All right, let me show you how to do conservation momentum problems. This is for elastic collision problems. Elastic collision problems. All right, so I'm going to run through this real quick, and I'm going to kind of show you that if you draw a picture, you can solve these really, really easily. Okay, it's a lot of writing, but it's not very hard. So watch. Okay, 40 kilogram student. We're choosing that one of these is going to be A, B. So I'm going to go ahead and make the 40 kilogram. This is A. Okay. Moving at 10 meters per second, this is a velocity A, and this is the beginning of the problem. So I'm going to put an initial. With another student, the other student's going to be B, okay? Moving at negative 4 meters per second, this is velocity of B initial. In the opposite direction, so that's why it's a negative, okay? When they collide, the 50 kilogram student, so this is B, moves and and bounces in the positive direction. So he's going the opposite way with a velocity of positive one meter per second. So this is velocity B final. What is the final velocity of the 40 kilogram A? So we're looking for the velocity A final. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a picture. I have two objects before, right? And then I have two objects after. Unless I say that they stick together, you can't you have to assume that they separated, okay? All right, so here's A. I'm going to go ahead and write in the information. 40 kilograms. B is 50 kilograms. This is going to be the negative direction moving this way. This will be the positive direction moving that way. Okay. We moved positive 10 meters per second. And 50 was moving at negative 4. I'm going to draw it in the negative. When they collide, the 50 kilogram student bounces in the positive direction. So here's the 50, this is still over here. Here's my 40. He bounces back in the positive direction at one meter per second. Okay, so far so good. You're seeing where I'm getting this information, right? Easy. I'm just drawing what happened here. Okay, what is the final velocity of the 40 kilogram student? We don't know what direction. It seems like I would think it would go this way. Let's see if we were right. I'm going to put my prediction Let's put my prediction in, let's put it in a different color so we can see if I was actually right. We'll put it in green, okay? So I think, let's say, I think it's going to go that way. The two things bounce off each other, so that's what they're going to do, right? Simple. All right, so let's see if we're right. Let's do the math. Okay, I have an M and a V, so guess what? This is mass times velocity. This is also mass times velocity. If we add up the, the momentums on one side, they should always be equal to the momentums on the after side. Okay, this is an m times v plus an m times v. All right. Okay, what was my m? 40. What was my b? 10. What was my m? 50. What was my b? Negative 4. Okay, my v, I don't know, right? My mass is 40. My m? 50. Where am I getting this from? I'm getting it from the picture. And my velocity, 1. That's me out the way. All right, 40 times 10 is 400. So you see how I'm multiplying and then bringing down. Bring down this. 50 times negative 4, negative 200. Bring down the equal sign. This can't do anything, so I just bring it straight down. 40 v final plus. 50 times 1, bring it down, it's just 50. All right, so this combines right here. 400 plus negative 200 gets you positive 200. This doesn't do anything, so bring it down. If this is too fast, you can always pause and go back and look at the steps. All right, and then 50 doesn't do anything with anyone, so it just comes down. Okay, now, I have to solve for B final, so I have to get rid of this stuff furthest away first. How do I get rid of plus 50? Minus 50. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. It goes away. And then 200 minus 50 is 150. Equals 40 times my velocity final. To get rid of 40 times, I divide by 40. The opposite of times is divide. Okay, this is almost 4, but it's not quite. Let's see. I don't know that off the top of my head. Actually, is it? Uh, yeah, I do. Ah, this comes out to 
3.75, positive 2.75 meters per second equals my velocity final of object A. So let's see, was I right? This is positive, right? I assume that my object is going to be moving in the negative direction. So no, I was not right. You can't just guess, okay? When I ask you on the quiz for this lab, I'm going to tell you to write a story. Right? I'm going to tell you to write a story of what happened. And your story can only be accurate if you do the math. And you check. This wasn't right. Okay? This was not the correct error. So what actually happened is they were moving towards each other, and object A had enough momentum to bump B forward and continue to go forward. Of course, he was going a little bit slower, though, right? 3.75 meters per second. He lost quite a bit of his velocity, but that's okay.